Your Excellency, sir, it is my humble duty and honor to kindly invite the Vice Chief of Defense Forces to give his remarks. VCDF, sir. Uh, Madam Eileen Ogola and the family of the late General our city of Francis Omondi Ogola, Your Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoe Ruto, High Excellency First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto, your Excellency, uh, Deputy President, Honorable Rikaji de Gashagua, and Mama Dorcas Gashagua. Your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Amsalia um, Mudavadi, Speakers of the National Assembly and Senate, the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court, Honorable uh, right Honourable former Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, Cabinet Secretaries and Principal Secretaries present, and all senior government officials invited, Governor of Nairobi County, uh, Service Commanders, Honourable Members of the House Committee on Defence, Intelligence and Foreign Relations, members of the Diplomatic Corps, the KDF fraternity, our families, distinguished ladies, distinguished gents, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is with great sorrow and great sense of loss that uh, we have gathered uh, at this uh, stadium, which was very dear to our departed uh, CDF. I take this opportunity, Your Excellency, on behalf of the Kenya Defense Forces fraternity, both those that are here and those that are in our peacetime locations and our troops that are deployed all around the country and beyond uh, to convey a deep message of condolence uh, to the family of our departed leader. Your Excellency, I also take this opportunity to, con to convey those condolences as well to yourself, and members of the National Defense, National Security Council, and all the leadership uh, in the security sector uh, for this loss. Let me thank you, Your Excellency, and through you, the entire nation, uh, for standing uh, with us, the entire nation, uh, for standing uh, with us, the KDF family, uh, during this moment of great loss. Not only did we lose our CDF, but we lost nine others, general officers, officers and service members in the tragic air accident that happened. Your Excellency, we have also received uh, support, messages of comfort, and condolences from far and beyond. General Ogola, and I do not need to really uh, go over again describing what kind of a person he was, because the family has said that, as well as the principal chaplain, and we all knew him. But he had many friends within the security establishments, uh, both in the region and through his engagements uh, externally. 
you've received messages and I'll just mention a few. The Chief of Defence Staff of India, uh, his friend, the Chief of Defence uh, Staff of Sri Lanka, whom he had invited here recently, and we learnt or rather shared a lot of uh, ideas in terms of the kind of engagements that we are engaging uh, in dealing with the threats that confront our republic. Uh, there's also uh, the General Mbadi, UPDF, who is the immediate former CDF, who worked very closely. The CDF of Burundi, who uh, will be with us tomorrow, and many others. But presently, uh, here, sir, we have uh, General Gatechu Salbina, uh, the DMI of Ethiopia, uh, representing Field Marshal Birhan Jula of Ethiopia, who, if you recall, sir, he was here also recently uh, as a guest of our departed CDF. We also have the commander of land forces of the Republic of Rwanda, defense forces, uh, representing the Rwanda uh, CDF. Your Excellency also allow me to acknowledge uh, with us uh, retired uh, CDFs uh, of, K uh, of Kenya. We have uh, retired General Kibochi, uh, retired General Karangi, and retired CGS uh, General Jeremia Kianga and service members who are all here to show solidarity and to send off our general. Your Excellency, today you have noticed that we are all conducting this ceremony dressed in combat uniform. This is in honor of our general who died in the operation area conducting operational duties uh, in the North Rift. And, sir, so, like I mentioned to you earlier, last week we spent a lot of time uh, meeting with the field commanders, service commanders and all, discussing uh, ways and means and planning how to continue uh, advancing our operations and uh, making the country secure. After he was briefed on the situation in the North Rift, he tasked uh, General Keter to look for resources to complete the task that you had given him and uh, told us that, he actually told me, we're back in the office, angalia mambo ya office, next week, kwanzia next week, mimi nitakuwa kwa field. And his intention was to visit North Rift, after that, our troops in close uh, operations, uh, theaters, and within Somalia, just to reinvigorate and to continue giving the spirit of uh, warriorship to our soldiers. Uh, we accept the will of God. Your Excellency, my duty is to assure you that the Kenya Defense Forces uh, remains strong despite the loss. We are continuing with our duties of securing our country just like the General would have wanted us. And his passing will only give us the impetus uh, to do more. Sir, you have seen a son of a General. That spirit reflects the general and it transcends to all of us. I will not uh, go into detail again, like I said, uh, but I will just finish by saying that the general was a very visionary leader. He leaves behind with us his visionary uh, his vision and the documents that we have developed to make KDF better. He was a very decisive commander and leader. He was 
very fair. Firm, but very fair when he dealt with situations. He would be considerate of actions before he took them. So, sir, and this, as we have heard, is grounded on his strong professional grounding, his spiritualism, his intellectual abilities, and family background. These, Your Excellency, are what and family background. These, Your Excellency, are what defines our departed general. So, sir, we felt that this was a good event for the entire KDF and for those that will not be able to continue uh, and with us in the journey to give him his final respect uh, to come here and uh, send off our general in a very, uh, in this uh, military honors. Thank you, Excellency. And said, let me invite our cabinet to continue with the program. Thank you, sir.